everybody, this is Jeff from Rick Robotics, and today I'm going to be reviewing some 3D printing filament. And this in here is Wood PLA, and it is a Tronxy product, and I'm going to be trying it out on my Tronxy printer. So, let's get started. <laughs> This filament is available through Amazon and you can pick it up from the link in the description below. First things first, getting it out of the packaging and loading it into my Tronxy printer. My first impressions of this filament are good. It looks great and gives off a smell of freshly cut wood as it heats up and prints. It smells like wood. So let's give this a try. Tronxy recommends a printing temperature between 190 and 230 degrees Celsius for this filament, so I did my first test at 205 degrees. My first benchy turned out great, but with a small layer separation at the base of the cabin, which caused it to break. And this is easily fixed with a bit of super glue, though. My next two attempts weren't as successful. In fact, they were complete failures and resulted in a nozzle clog. After a good cleaning and reset, I raised the printing temperature to 220 degrees and tried it again. I was a bit sick of printing benches, so I went right to a baby Groot. This seemed promising for the first three hours. Then the inevitable happened again, another nozzle clog. So one more time with the disassembly and cleaning. One note about this filament is that because it is infused with wood particles, if and when it clogs, it won't melt back out of the heat throat and nozzle, so more drastic measures need to be taken. Once the nozzle is removed, the hardened clog can then be pushed through the open heat throat, but the nozzle itself needed to be lightly drilled out and then cleaned before it could be used again. I reached out to my Troxy representative during my testing and was advised that a 0.8 millimeter nozzle was recommended for using this filament. However, I was determined to get this to work with my standard 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I reassembled and reset again and this time changed the print temperature to 225 degrees. And this seems to be the magic number because wow, no more failures and no more problems. I used a print speed of 50 millimeters per second on a PEI surface and again tried my baby Groot. Success! I like this model so much I printed another one. Unfortunately, his leg had a little layer separation and snapped off during the removal. Again, nothing a bit of super glue won't heal. Finally, I printed something with a little more complexity. This proud and honored sign was a special design I made for a friend that I thought would look great with this filament, and it does. I have to say that I am very impressed with the way this filament looks and prints. It is a bit brittle, and it does take a couple of tries to get the ideal printing settings dialed in, but once all of that is figured out, the results are very nice. My recommendations for using this filament are to start with higher temperatures and work your way down in order to minimize nozzle clogs or to use a nozzle of at least 0.4 millimeters wide. I would also recommend using a heated bed with about 40 to 60 degrees Celsius as well since I ran into some adhesion problems when I turned off my heat bed. Slower speeds definitely produce better print quality as with almost all filaments. I used 50 millimeters per second, which yielded very pleasing results. I'm really excited to use this filament in some other projects, so there's a good chance you'll see more of this on my channel in the future. While I was asked to test this filament for Tronxy, I will state, as always, my opinions are completely my own and not influenced by outside sources. If you disagree with my opinion in this review, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. But if you do agree with my opinion or you like my review and this review is helpful, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with a friend who might also be interested in this filament. Either way, leave me a comment below and tell me what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please help support my channel by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell notification as well. 
Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.